Tetra. Yes, sir. All right. And the King of Hyrule from the Legend of Zelda, the Wind Waker. Sorry for the background noise. Sorry for the background noises, guys. My dog. There's an original character too, named Linkle. Oh my God! You you kidding me now? Familiar. Oh my God, Linkle Linkle's. Is a girl who lives in a small village filled with cuckoos. She's a. She's real. Oh my God. And she got two crossbows. Jumpy, energetic nature brings something special to the battlefield. Oh my God. She'll kick an enemy when they're down without losing her grip on her crossbows. If Link's famous signature move is called a spin attack, maybe we should call Winkles a spin kick. Oh, that's awesome. Hyrule Warriors Legends will be released on March 25th, 2016. Okay, that's. I mean, that's still good. Original Nintendo 3DS That's home menu definitely not in February and January, so included. I don't have enough time to get that. Our RPG lineup continues to strengthen on Nintendo 3DS, including games we haven't touched on today, like Bravely Second and Lair, coming in spring 2016. Yeah, another one. There's another series we'd like to discuss today, though, that Nintendo has been proud to support throughout the years. I'm happy to finally announce that Dragon Quest VII, Fragments of the Forgotten Past, is also coming to Nintendo 3DS in 2016. In this huge Look at RPG, that. explore They're the past actually acknowledging it. secrets of a much changed world. I'm not a Dragon Quest shards, fan myself, but you know, I'm, I'm guessing Dragon Quest fans can rejoice now. It's finally coming. Dragon Quest Seven: Fragments of the Forgotten Past will be released in early summer 2016. Hmm. Am I missing something? Fear not. Dragon Quest VIII: Journey of the Cursed well, King will also be released now, in 2016. Now they can really so be re rejoiced by this. Another epic adventure on your Nintendo 3DS. I know many of you have been waiting for these exciting announcements, so thank you for your patience. We've got one more update saved for last, but first, a quick rundown of some Wii U and Nintendo 3DS games coming from our development partners in 2016. Right. Shoot your way through dangerous Super alien Metroid, to um, Super Metroid Federation Force. That's what it, well, that's what I'm seeing. But it looks actually kind of fun. Oh my god, that actually does look fun. Well, I'll take a quick glance at it. With Kerbal Space Program, build a spacecraft worthy of journeying to the Ooh, stars. That looks pretty Get cool. Get an internal view on the Wii U gamepad and tilt it to steer. Then watch your ship soar on your TV. Just don't kill everyone aboard. <laughs> Oh, Mighty number nine. Afune, I don't know why people hate it so much. It looks amazing. Face off against your eight mighty brethren and steal their powers to unlock new transformations. You can even team up with a friend in the two-player online co-op challenge. I mean, everyone wants to get this. I want to get this as well. It just looks amazing. Get ready to play as and unlock uh, more than 100 Marvel characters that have never appeared in a Lego game before. From the superheroes and supervillains of the movies, sorry for the background. Classic Avengers nice, nice. characters of the comics. The fight is on. Inform teams of classic them too. characters from Capcom, Sega, and Bandai Namco games while engaging iconic enemies. Crom and Lucina. Yes. This time, Nintendo is joining the fight with Crom and Lucina from Fire Emblem Awakening and Fiora from Xenoblade. And Chronicles. Fiora. Build amazing structures. Terraria. And awesome. And armor, then wage war of enemies and giant bosses. I'm gonna get that for Wii U. Four there's no, there's no doubt about it. There's no doubt about it. Nintendo 3DS, and on the Wii U version, up to eight players can inhabit your world online. It is your world, after all. Thanks for watching today. We'll Sorry leave for that, you with guys. one final update. I sense a new trailer approaching. Up oh, a new trailer. Space. Huh. Wolf confirmed. Oh, that's right. Oh, Smash Bros. I don't think we're gonna get a full trailer. I think we're just gonna find out the ballot winner. Who is it? Final Fantasy Seven. Oh, you no 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 no. This is a joke. This is probably a joke. You've got to be kidding me. 
Oh my god. Oh my god, how? How did he get in? Oh my god, this is... No, he can't be the ballot winner. It's too early. Oh my god. I'm, I, I'm not big in Final Fantasy. I'm not a big Final Fantasy fan at all. But, you know, this is amazing. Wow. The Advent Children costume. Oh my god. Dang, he's, he's really strong. What? He can actually destroy counters? Okay, he's looking like a really tough character. That's amazing. Oh boy, limit break. Dang! Whoa. Okay, that's really OP. Oh my god, a Midgar stage. Summons to- Oh, whoa, that thing is banned. Whoa. What the- yeah, that's mega banned. Oh my god. Oh. Oh no, that's not good. Of course, Abby Slash. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Cloud and Smash, how did he get in? Okay. Oh, okay, that's, that's, that's pretty funny. Ballot winner, ballot winner, ballot winner. Super fun. Oh my god, really? Oh my god. Okay, yep. I, I, I'm gonna do a recording on that. Alright, folks, thanks very much for tuning in. And, um, it, um, if you like what you see, please like, um, co comment, and subscribe to Flipno Studio, th um, Flipno 3D Gamer. And, um, I'll bring up, uh, uh, pretty soon I'm gonna continue my playthrough of Pokemon Leaf Green. Anyway, thanks, guys. Bye.